Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Courtney, and behind me I have Nyx and Phaedra, although I'm not sure if you can see Nyx. She's chewing on a bone. Today I'm bringing you a Get Ready With Me fall tutorial. This Get Ready With Me is sponsored in part by Color Science. So I'm gonna apply my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. As you know, this is pretty much my go-to eyeshadow primer because it's the one that seems to always work on my oily hooded lids. It doesn't crease on me and it lasts all day. I have fallen asleep in this and it has lasted for up to 24 hours, but I try to never do that with my makeup. So after I apply my eyeshadow primer, I like to set it. I'm using Milani's Prep Set Go Translucent Setting Powder and the Delium Tool 787 brush. And basically what I do is take the big fluffy brush and blend in circles on top of the primer just to make sure it's dry. So I'm going to be trying out a new eyeshadow palette today. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy palette. It's an all mattes palette. I was not planning on buying this, but one of my friends who I love and trust basically told me I absolutely needed to try this palette, even though the last five or so Too Faced palettes have let me down because it's all mattes and she said I would think it was amazing. So I figured I would give it a go today. I haven't even swatched this palette, so I'm not really sure what the colors actually look like on the skin, if they're accurate, true to pan or not. So I'm going to use the color Peach Tea with my Sigma E25 brush and just start building up the color on the lid. I'm patting the color onto my lid and I'm going to bring it up above my crease onto the hood of my eye so that it's visible. Because my eyes are quite hooded, I always make sure that I'm looking straight into the mirror and that my eyes are relaxed like I was looking normally so that I can see how high up to bring the crease color. I just want it to be visible and for it to be visible on me it has to be up higher onto the hood of my eye. Otherwise when I'm looking straight forward the hood, this part of my eye will eat all of the color. And I am just kind of blending the color up and out trying to soften it as I go up. I haven't added any more product to my brush. I'm going to take the same color peach tree and this duo fiber brush and go along my lower lid. I'm going to use that same brush that I applied the setting powder with and just kind of swirl over the edges of this on my brow bone to soften it out. I'm going to use the color peach sangria which is this red because it is fall and work this as an accent color into the outer part of my crease. I'm using a Sigma shader brush for this. It's the E47. If you have trouble figuring out where this color should go, um, what I'm doing is putting it into the socket of my eye since I have putted eyes and just kind of working it around the outer part of my eye so that it'll be in the right place to give me some definition. I'm gonna go back with the Sigma E35 to blend. And I'm kind of holding my brush in place and twisting it to blend like right here at the outer corner of the lid and the crease. And then I'm blending in little circles going inwards and upwards at the upper part of my crease. I'm going to use a Sigma E21 brush with Peach Sangria along my lower lash line and kind of smudge it. I'm going to switch to the E25 to blend. Adding a little bit more red and blending. I want my eyes to have more definition, but I don't want to use too much liner because of my hooded eye shape. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay Perversion Pencil to line my upper lash line. And one of the ways that you do this is, or sorry, I want a tight line right at the roots of the lashes. This is really uncomfortable. I know a lot of people just will go up here and kind of squinch down in the pencil. But I can't do that comfortably, it just it hurts my eyes. This is a Sigma E6 brush. I 
feel like I need to deepen the outer corner just a little bit. So I'm going to use the shade Chocolate Dipped and take that um, at the outer corner with a small detail brush. And then I'm gonna use a larger brush to blend it out. This is the Sigma E35 again. And I'm really just blending peach sangria with chocolate dipped to deepen this, but still keep the red that I want for my fall look. I have been leaving my brows really natural lately because basically um, I just had them tinted and shaped and I really like how they look, but I am gonna fill them in just a little bit with the ColourPop Black Brow Pencil just to give them a little bit more shape. So now that my brows are on, I'm gonna use the color Peach Tea to kind of blend out the edges up here. Okay, so I curled my lashes. This is a Secchi Edge Lash Curler. It's basically a cageless lash curler. I know a lot of you have always asked me about this, so that is what I'm using. I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm trying a new mascara out today. This is Ico Black Magic Mascara. It's supposed to give drama and curl. It is giving me a little bit of drama, but my lashes just never want to hold a curl. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and put on another eyeshadow. I'm going to use Peach Butter, this one right here. And I'm using it basically as like a matte highlight type color around my brows. Although I probably will go back with a shimmery highlight to finish. And I always use the Kat Von D brush for highlighting around my eyes even when it's a matte highlight. And I use the brush the same way every time. I use the big fat end to do the inner corner and to blend out anything and then I use the smaller end like right around the um, under the eyebrow area. So now that the eyeshadow is on, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my face. So I'm going to be using the new Color Science All Calm Clinical Redness Corrector. This is supposed to have a subtle green tone to help neutralize redness, which I need help with because I have rosacea. And it's also supposed to be very soothing and calming for sensitive skin like mine. You can use it in place of primer. So it contains the patent pending Biosolus Complex, and that is supposed to provide ongoing relief from redness and sensitivity. I personally do tend to have more redness as the day goes on. So I can start out the morning with my skin looking like I have no redness and then as the day goes on, I'll get more and more red all over. Like right now, I don't know if my camera, if my lighting in here is good enough for you to see it, but I'm bright red, like right here on my nose, on here and here. And then I have like soft pink through here. So this formula is supposed to be very breathable, very soothing. It's supposed to have lots of antioxidants in it and it's supposed to be very calming. So I'm excited by that. It's been specifically developed for people like me who have rosacea, um, also people who suffer from a lot of redness and adult acne. So. I really, really wanted to try this out because of the fact that I have rosacea and I have redness and it is a constant pain in my butt. So Color Science did give me a coupon for you to use. I'm gonna put it right here in the screen. This will give you a free mini brush on SPF 50 product. So this is a powder that is SPF 50 that you brush on after you apply your makeup to help keep your SPF going all day. It will look like a miniature version of this. They also gave me a link for you to use. I will put both of those in the description box below. I don't earn any commission on the discount code or the referral link, they're just for you guys. When you see this product, it's like a very, very, very pale beige with a green tint. I'm only going to put it on the areas of my face that have a lot of redness that I want to neutralize. So the, my problem areas are my cheeks and my nose, my chin and my forehead. Mostly towards like the center of my face is where my redness is really bad. The edges of my face are not that bad. And I feel like a little bit really goes a long way with this. I have tried other redness products in the past that were extremely, extremely dark complected compared to my skin. And one of the things that I like about this is that it's very close to my skin tone so it's not going to significantly darken my face, even under a foundation. 
and I won't have to use full coverage. But hopefully you can see on camera, because I can see in person, how it's minimizing a lot of that redness at the center of my face. It still hasn't completely killed like the biggest patch of redness right here, but it has pretty much covered this and I'm gonna use a little bit up here on my forehead. Again, teeny, teeny, tiny amount is all I need. It definitely feels like a primer to me. So, so I have it through here on my chin in the center of my forehead. That's it. And I feel like it really did a nice job of sort of countering that redness. I'm gonna try the Color Science Tint du Soleil, which is like a foundation in the shade light. I'm gonna add some white to it because when I swatched it earlier, it looked like it was gonna to be too dark for my skin tone. And then I'm just kinda of gonna dot this at the center part of my face and blend it out. I'm gonna try the Fenty Contour Stick in Amber. My friend Emily said she loves this and she said I should absolutely pick it up because she says it's a very good pale skin contour. So, just going to add a little bit to my cheeks and then blend it out. Although I guess I feel like I kind of blended this away into nothing, so maybe I should use a little more. I don't know, I feel like it just literally keeps blending away into nothing. Alright, so I got a little bit of contour on. Not sure how I feel about it. I, I feel like it kept wanting to blend away into nothing even though I was very gently um, bouncing the beauty blender on my skin. I'm gonna use my Makeup Geek Celestial Highlighter and the Fenty Highlighter Brush. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. I think it looks amazing. And I'm gonna put on Milani's Rosa Romantica Blush. This is kind of like a nice neutral pink blush. I'm basically just applying it in between where I applied my contour and my highlight. This has become my all-time favorite blush brush because I feel like it does a great job of applying and blending out my blush. Now that I have all of that on, I need to do my lips. So I based my whole look around what I wanted to wear on my lips. And I wanted to put on Urban Decay's Hex Pencil and Sugar Pill's Strange Love Lipstick. This lipstick is coming back. It was LE, they brought it back. I feel like I should add a little bit of extra sparkle. So even though I really love Strange Love, I think what I'm gonna do is pop a little bit of Kat Von D's Thunderstruck on top. This is the Glimmer Veil, so it's like a peachy gold type color. I'm just gonna pop it at the center. Figured might as well be a little extra with the lips since my eyes were all matte. I am gonna add a tiny little bit of extra highlight with Celestial right under the outer part of my brow. I just I feel like it needs it. It looked a little naked without a little bit of shimmer up here. I'm popping just a tiny, tiny bit at the inner corners. And I'm gonna set it with Milani's Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I love this stuff. It's a really great drugstore dupe for the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. So now that that's on, let me uh, show you the finished eye look. So this is the finished eye look. I love it for fall. It kind of makes me think of fall leaves with the sort of like orangey colors blending in with the red and the deep brown. So this is the overall finished look. 
I love the eye look and the lips. I think they look great. And I love how like this cheek is popping. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me sponsored by Color Science. Please be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video and found it fun, entertaining, or informative or helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't already, click the little subscribe button down below so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching.